Hey guys, welcome back to another episode on the Salt Mine SMP. I am Mr. Envelope, and oh, look at who's over there. There's AC doing some farming right now. She's trying to get a bunch of emeralds and stuff. Um, because she wants to trade with villagers to get mending and then infinity so she could put them on bows. Uh, because we are actually still in 1.10.2? No, 1.11. We haven't updated to the update that lets you use fireworks quite yet, um, but hopefully that'll happen soon. A lot of us are really itching to, you know, just fly around with fireworks. Uh, but anyways, guys, whoops, uh, welcome back to another episode. Uh, just doing some work over here at the garden. I showed this off in the Christmas episode, uh, but I don't remember quite how much we got into it. <laughs> oh my god, this is so loud. Um... I'll probably have to turn this down in editing, but, uh, anyways, yeah, so, uh, this is what, like, I started in the middle of, uh, winter and stuff, and I don't really know, uh, why I started it, because it wasn't really Christmas-themed. I mean, I know I don't have to just do Christmas stuff in December, <laughs> uh, but, uh, it just seemed kind of out of the blue for me, but anyways, uh, yeah, this, uh, has been a pretty big ongoing project. Ugh. And I'm glad it's getting some use. <laughs> AC's been using it a lot, um, obviously. She has so many crops, like, saved up right now, it's it's kind of ridiculous. And apparently she also has a ton of emeralds. Just take a look in there, that's all from AC. <laughs> uh, where can I also... There we go. I'm gonna dump that right there. I've been putting extra crops and stuff in my various chests I have uh, laying around here. Um, but yeah, guys, so what we're gonna do today is just a little bit of work around here. Uh, I kind of wanted to show you... And talk about uh, my uh, my plans for this area. There we go. Um, and how I've been kind of organizing everything. Because I kind of have a method to how everything is laid out. It might look like, you know, uh, there's a bunch of just giant trees, path blocks, and just thrown down cobblestone variants, you know. But uh, there is a method to how I'm putting everything down. A very specific method. Um, and I kind of wanted to show you guys that because this has been uh, pretty much all I've been working on for the past month. <laughs> uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, as you can see, I've been slowly starting to add a little bit more detail uh, compared to how it looked before. Um, before, you know, I just started tilling some soil and throwing down uh, wheat variants and stuff. Wheat variants? There's only one type of wheat. Um, <laughs> let's give this to AC. Um, so this is kind of how I started. I just like tilled a bunch of the land. I planted some crops and then I started playing around with like this fence design. Just recording. <laughs> um, I started playing around with this design and everything and everyone really liked it. So I kind of just went with it. Like I had the smallest patch too. And I started, you know, just slowly spread it over and stuff, and then I started planting these giant trees. And one thing I need to do to the trees, too, is add these uh, spruce fence posts. This is something Germ showed me, and I really like it. Um, but that's something I can definitely add later, you know. Um, but anyways, one way that I've been, like, a rule that I've been doing with the fences is, you know, I'll, they're all cobblestone. That's the first thing. I'm sure I could mix in some mossy cobblestone, but for now, I kind of just want to get, like, the shape done. Um... I've been putting down, you know, the cobblestone, like I've said many times. Uh, leaf blocks, they're, they they can go anywhere. They can go on the grass or they can go on the cobblestone. Um, I'm trying to make sure that the stone or the cobble fences, uh, they don't ever get connected to a full block so that they'll always just be like the fence post, you know. And then another rule, I don't, I don't know why I'm setting up these rules though, but it's kind of making everything uh, a little uniform. Uh, another rule is that uh, the oak fences can never be placed on grass blocks or dirt blocks. They have to be on top of cobblestone or on top of the cobblestone fences. It's super weird, but it's helping me keep things looking, you know, pretty similar and not too random and dirty, you know, because as random as I wanted this to look, I don't want it to look like I just threw down a bunch of blocks. <laughs> uh, and then another thing too, uh, uh, the fence post can connect only one time. I don't want to have... Um, the oak fences go no more than two blocks connected so i can't put a third one down you know uh little things like that are what keeping uh is what's keeping this place you know looking the way it is and i think it's coming out pretty well another thing that i'm going to probably add to are the white tulips either these or those little uh white bouquet flowers 
Uh, but we need to make a flower farm. That's something that I've been meaning to do for Saha because he's been wanting some flowers. Okay guys, so it's been about three days since that last bit was recording. I don't know how much of there I'm going to keep. <laughs> Looking back at it a little bit, I remember I wasn't too happy with how it came out. But uh, anyway, some time has passed. Uh, Germ has updated his texture pack and he has gone crazy with like all of the new updates and stuff. Like I, d I didn't think that he could, you know, top what he did last time, you know. Just every time he releases a new update for the pack. I'm like blown away by what he does. <laughs> Check out this wheat field. It's like too tall now. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> uh, one thing Ninny and I were talking about is like maybe he can make some other crops. Um, it, it'd be kind of tricky, but uh, one thing we were thinking of is maybe turning like the sunflowers into corn. That way, you know, we can just have something else that looks like it's growing over here on the server. But uh, oh yeah, over here too, we got... Um, the potatoes growing. I like how these look, but I really like how the carrots look. They look more like how a carrot plant would actually look like in real life. Um, and I think I recorded this bit last time where I changed the carpets to lime green. Um, I, I had to change it back to dark green because now they match way better in here. So GG germ. I'm very happy with this. But anyways, guys, uh, the reason why um, this new uh, uh, waiting a few days happened. I was planning on waiting a little bit regardless because... Uh, we finally moved to 1.11.2. We skipped point 0.1. <laughs> We're on point 0.2 now. And so that means we can fly with fireworks. Aha! <laughs> this is so cool. Uh, it's kind of trickier flying with fireworks. I didn't realize uh, how much trickier it'd be. But uh, I'm starting to get the hang of it. And the reason why it's a little more difficult, I feel like, is because when you're flying with fireworks, you have a speed boost for such a long time. Uh, I was getting so used to the bow that, like, I could do kind of, like, a brake check to myself, you know, so I could slow down faster. Um, but if you're about to hit something with using a firework, you kind of have to completely move out of the way and, like, progress in whatever direction you're looking. It can get kind of tricky. Uh, but anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get started on our new project. We're not going to be playing with the fireworks too much. Uh, actually, one thing I did want to check out. Uh, Breezy made us some... Special fireworks. I think they're still in my base. This was part of her Christmas present to me. Uh huh. There we go. I accidentally used a bunch. Actually, this isn't even one of them. Hmm. Where are my fireworks? Here they are. <laughs> they're totally all in here. Alright, let's grab a few of these. These are all different, so they're not going to stack. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look and see what they do. Now, the thing with fireworks that have, like, special sparkles in them and uh, their little fancy effects... Uh-oh. <laughs> see, they hurt the player. Oh, that was so cool. Uh, but they still work. They totally work. So let's go into this so we can see it. Otherwise, you won't be able to see the fireworks. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Let's do it without the water behind us. Oh, that is so cool. And what are the flight duration on these? Flight duration 2. I can definitely feel it. There's three different tiers of uh, the fireworks. Uh, oh. You gonna load in, world? There we go. Yeah, there's three different tiers. Uh, there's one, two, and three. And uh, one flies you the shortest. And then uh, three does the most you know you can kind of figure that out and it all depends on how much gunpowder you put in the recipe uh which is super cool though <laughs> those are so pretty i love fireworks uh but anyways guys what we're gonna work on for the rest of the episode today or what i'm gonna work on oh i thought i had haste <laughs> uh what we're gonna work on is a flower a flower farm uh, i haven't built one of these in a while and I'm not gonna lie, I just spent some time in creative trying to make like the super fancy one. And I completely flopped. <laughs> I couldn't get like anything right to happen. Uh, this is awful. So I, we need to make sure we're in a flower forest. And the reason we're making this is because Saha had kind of asked for one. Uh, I told him I would make it. And... It's been like a really long time since that's happened. <laughs> and I kind of want to get it done just so 
uh, I don't I don't feel too bad about you know neglecting him I uh, will either do it there or maybe right here except I kind of want to stay away from Wii's base because I want him to have room to expand actually I think this would be fine over here so uh, the reason why location kind of matters uh, we'll, we'll either check here first and if not we'll check there uh, flowers generate in a specific pattern so you see how there's two red ones right here there will always be red tulips that spawn here and here um, that's just kind of how the game works like uh, assuming that grass doesn't generate it's always going to be a red tulip see uh, and Saha was telling me that he wants orange flowers so assuming we can get some orange flowers in here then this will be a good spot uh oh um, and it might not be so we might have to pick somewhere else it looks like this whole spot's just gonna be like red tulip so location definitely matters and I also want it to be like in a decent spot where other people can come by and use it um, I'm kinda not liking this spot we're only getting uh, the azure bluets oh snap guys check it out <laughs> we got other flowers spawning or at least orange ones it's still probably just gonna be orange and red here um i don't think that'd be that big of an issue for saha like this could be his own personal one uh regardless we'd have to set up other farms elsewhere to get things you know like the alliums and the the, the azure things right here and uh, the blue orchids and swamps like we'd have to we'd have to do some work elsewhere too which i don't think would be that big a deal I think people kind of understand how these would work so i think they'd be very understanding if we had to have multiple flower farms hmm oh yeah this is like such a good spot oh okay this one was a tulip yeah this spot's really good for these two types of flowers uh i'd like it to be maybe one more block closer to the wall uh because i'd like to have a window we'll probably close off the cave right here Okay guys, so we're definitely going to be doing it right here. We're going to have three different colors and then maybe we'll get some of those. Actually, no, because I think I think I decided with myself <laughs> uh, that we'd take out this layer right here. Just so I can have a little more room to do some fixing up over here. We're going to have to move this light post, so I hope AC and Saha don't mind too much. But I think we're going to be good. Uh, also, this isn't just for Saha and AC. This is like for the whole server, which I think is kind of self-explanatory. We all, we all share our... Our resources and everything um, uh, but check this out these are all the colors that we'll be able to get we'll be able to get white which is something I personally want uh, we'll get lots of red and uh, lots of orange too I'm pretty sure these ones will be orange the patterns that they have are pretty predictable so you can kind of see it right here like this is it's like a curve of uh, white and then it's like a curve of orange and then the rest is gonna be red you know kind of just how it is it's really cool if you have a super flat world and it's all flower forest uh, you can totally see uh, the patterns and everything a lot more clear and it, they look really cool um, let me just dump some stuff right here that uh, AC has uh, she, she left here for a while uh, this is like a spot they were both using I think when Saha was working on the piers and stuff and AC was working like on all these other uh, beautiful trinkets everywhere but yeah I'm just gonna use their space a little bit so we need a dispenser also need to not fall uh, we're gonna put a dispenser right here the farm isn't gonna be like a hundred percent efficient because the dispenser will dispense bone meal onto the grass oh whoops um, and then that's gonna make the crops grow and then what we do to harvest the plants is I forgot what I was doing pistons <laughs> uh, we're gonna get pistons and because of the way uh, the pistons are they're, it's gonna kind of be off center it's, it's tricky so like right here uh, we might even go one more back I think um, we're gonna have to have a gap right here but on this side we're gonna need this is gonna be hard I think I need to get rid of this real quick uh, we need the pistons to face right here directly whoops against the grass that we're gonna put back down right now you'll see in a second just like this so that way there's room for those pistons to push the blocks over this way and then room for you know this to push it back and everything it'll make sense you'll see <laughs> and then every time uh, they move the whole landmass over um, all the plants will get harvested and then I'm thinking probably too 
uh, we'll have like a collection switch and it'll like dump water down and it'll push everything into a chain of hoppers. <laughs> uh, I hope this works. I'm kind of unsure with myself right now because uh, like I had said, I tried to build one of these in creative. I've, I've done these before, but I tried to do it like in a super fancy way and I think I, I just kind of like made it way too complicated. So we're going to try to simplify this. Uh, my ultimate goal is to have a toggle switch so you can turn everything on and off at once, but I'm starting to think uh, we might need to have some separate controls. Like one thing for to toggle the bone meal to dispense and then a separate thing to move the land mass, you know? I don't know, we'll see. So how, how I normally set this up, uh, let's go ahead and grab some... Let's go ahead and just toss those for now, we're going to get so much in a minute. Uh, we're going to grab some repeaters, some comparators, a few hoppers, not too many. Some redstone dust, some sticky pistons, which I think I need to craft some more. So let's go ahead and grab some of these. And I'm pretty sure that's it. I could be wrong. Um, so how this is going to work is we're going to have two hoppers facing into each other. It's going to be a little hopper clock, but it won't be running all the time. So uh, it won't be that big a deal. Uh, we're going to put some comparators down. We need some sticky pistons in the ground. Uh, and then we're going to need a couple repeaters, like so. Also, there needs to be blocks on top of those. And basically, how this is going to work... <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, I'm trying to, trying to do this kind of quickly because I'm really uncertain about how much time we have. Uh, so, we're going to have an item inside of this. And that's what's going to happen. The item's going to move back and forth. It's locked right now, so it's not. Uh, every time the item's in here, this will get powered, and it'll uh, shoot the, the little fella up, the piston. And it's just going to basically toggle a pulse back and forth. Uh, and that pulse, we're going to send to all of these hoppers. Or not hoppers. Um, what are these big guys called? <laughs> uh, pistons. It's going to go to all the pistons and they're going to get powered and they're going to move the land and you'll see in just a second. Just like this. <laughs> it's very noisy, but it works. So this is what the plan is. And then of course there'll be bone meal dispensed uh, from the middle. So it'll constantly be like making a new set of grass. It'll get harvested, new set of grass, harvested, new set of grass. It's super efficient and it's actually very easy. Like as you can see, super easy. And you don't even need to, uh, <laughs> oh man, I just like totally derped out. You don't even need to have like a super fancy collecting area. Like I remember I've built a few of these before and I just had them like out in the open or I would just completely dismantle them because of how easy they are to put together. But uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set up a little switch and everything to hook up to like the front up here so people can you know just turn it on and off and I'll put like a window right here so people can look inside and this is what I mean by it being off center it's kind of funky in there you know but it'll be fine people people won't notice once I polish it up in there that actually didn't take too long uh, I think it was good that I went back to the original idea that I had because you know, once working from there and then going backwards, it made it a lot easier. Here, let's keep these a little symmetrical. There we go. So right here we have the on and off switch. I'll be sure to label that in just a second with another sign. Um, also, for now, we don't really have a... Um, like a collection system. <laughs> it's kind of bad. Uh, but anyways, we can go ahead and put our bone meal inside of this chest right here. A uh, very good bone meal input. Lab labeled it fine, I think. Um, I also decorated it a little. I think it's okay. It's not. It's not the best. I, I tried to theme it after like this area, and I didn't want to go ahead and copy the pattern because I thought it'd be a little too much. But maybe I should because this area is very grassy and stuff. But anyways, uh, like this spot right here will probably get closed off. You know. Um, Maybe something not so natural looking. Uh, that's we'll, we'll play with that later. <laughs> that's not my priority right now. So let's go ahead and uh, turn it on. I think enough bone meal has made it inside of the dispenser. Oh my god, it works! <laughs> that's pretty cool. And look at we're getting a lot of orange. Uh, we're getting some whites and we're getting some reds. The colors that we planned for and this will turn it back on and off now let me go ahead and 
uh, harvest what we have. See, I'm thinking maybe we could put a door right here. But I'm also kind of thinking that might be kind of ugly. <laughs> like, imagine just having a big old door in the middle of this thing. Like, it's not going to look that hot, you know? Um, maybe... Maybe we could do something like this. We'll go ahead and take this out. Uh, we'll put the door right here. We'll get rid of this chest. I don't... That chest doesn't really do anything. Um, but if we do this, you know, we got our little viewing area. And then we have a, a little spot to get in, you know? I think this will actually be pretty good except if we push this button now it's gonna open and close the door <laughs> that's kind of lame uh also right here uh germ did something else to the textures by the way he he made it so i thought i saw a spider oh it's the squid he made it so there's like connected textures and stuff so you can see right here dirt connects to grass grass connects to wood things like that and it looks really cool in some spots but other spots, it kind of doesn't look that hot. Like right here, like if you wanted to fix this, you'd have to go under here and put down like the proper wood type, uh, which is what I have right here. Uh, there we go. See, now it's gone. But, you know, in most cases, it looks really cool. Like I like how it looks right here, but there's some spots in some buildings where it kind of looks a little off. Um, let's go ahead and go into spectator mode really quick. Alright guys, so this is the farm. As you know, when we push the button, it's going to send a little tiny pulse uh, down over here into this flippity floppity. Uh, the flip flop will, it pretty much just makes buttons like levers. I didn't want to have a lever because levers are pretty ugly. We could have saved a lot more redstone space if we just had a lever, but we have a flip flop. Uh, basically, as soon as it's turned on, this block right here, these uh, two slabs, uh, will get pushed over this torch right here. And the torch is going to send uh, a signal. Uh, over to this torch right here, which will unpower these droppers or dispensers or hoppers. That's what they're called. Sorry guys, it's late. <laughs> and then the hoppers will, you know, just uh, let the items inside go back and forth. If we look inside right here, there we go. Uh, the dirt will move back and forth and it'll work just like how we saw earlier. So that'll turn uh, the moving platforms on and off. Uh, and what it'll also do is it'll power this um comparator clock which you know sends a signal out of itself but it'll go back in itself to send it out again so it kind of repeats like super quickly and that's what dispenses our bone meal which we have in this dispenser right here and then again or i don't think i explained this uh the chest up above right here where it says bone meal input it just happened to level out perfectly to this little hopper chain that goes inside the dispenser and fills up the little bone meal area it's completely perfect and uh the inside's nothing too crazy to look at but you know, you're not really going to be spending too much time inside of here. Um, and that's kind of how the whole thing works, guys. It's pretty simple. I think I'm going to maybe pull this door in one more. Maybe switch the door type, too. It kind of feels out of place. Yeah, I think we might do that. <laughs> uh, but that is a project pretty much done. The only thing that I think I need to do is replace the light post that I took out. Uh, do a little landscaping. But, uh, guys, that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Mr. Envelope, and I'll see you guys... Or maybe I won't see you guys. I'm kind of invisible. <laughs> you can kind of see my head right now. There you go. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bye-bye.